station is set up and in almost ready for action. So to set this guy up, you're going to want to go to Logic Pro X tab, click Control Surfaces, go down to Setup, New Device, Install, scroll all the way down to Mackie Designs, HUI, HUI, Huey. So don't hit Scan, you're, want, you're going to want to hit Add. Let's see if this records. All right, it's not recording. Cool, 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 good. We missed a step. You're gonna wanna turn this to in control, bo both of these in control. Uh, there we go, now it works. Now for your pads and knobs. Go to control services, controller assignments, then this will pop up. And for your synths, you're gonna wanna go down, let's pick a synth, let's go ES1. Um, <laughs> let's not go ES1, let's go ES2. Click learn mode. Click the detune. And then your knobs are assigned. So pads, a uh, similar concept, but not really. So I pull up Ultra Beat, and these will be automatically assigned. You can go to your drag and drop samples if you have drum kits. Uh, stock sounds, they're just straight up there. But So we hit this, that's going to our sample five. Let's go to our samples, your sounds. Let's just go snare, Put plug that into sample five. So you do have to put a little pressure on these guys. Look, I'm tapping it, oh, there we go, pretty significantly. They are velocity sensitive. So this was my raw look at the Novation Launch Key 61. I'm really excited to start using this. Yes, you can make it work for any DAW. <laughs>